Well, this video is messed up a couple times now. We had uh, ice pellet storm and now the sun is shining. And the video was in the wrong format. All kinds of good stuff going on. So the video is to transform this YT4000 Craftsman from a summer tractor to a winter tractor. And uh, first off, you gotta remove the deck, which I filmed in the uh, wrong format. I was gonna just show you how to do it and then come out and do it because it was uh, a pretty good ice pellet storm out here and I didn't want to bring the camera out. But now that it's sunny out, uh, I'll show you what I've done so far. These arms get attached to the little hooks there. There's a washer and a pin that holds them on. You gotta detach those. And there's an arm that hangs back here onto that pin. You put a washer and a hook onto there and then there's an arm that goes from the front there right in the middle of the screen, comes through that hole, attaches to the front via a clip and washers. And you just have to detach those. The uh, hanger over here is a little bit more difficult. It is hold, held on by a bolt, as you can see. So you'll have to release that bolt. And it is not fun because you can only move your wrench a couple centimeters and it takes forever. Ratcheting wrenches would be an excellent idea. And I might actually try to get a socket. I think I can get a socket on it this year. I don't know. I lifted the mower off the ground to get more clearance under here. And after you get all the brackets disconnected the last thing you have to do is disconnect your engagement cable which is always the hardest for me never wants to do it easily so we'll put you back in here Try to stay out of the camera. Right where it connects to the body, you'll have a pin, cotter pin. good I think I'm gonna detach it from the arm here you can never remember year to year how I do this that springs really tight and you got a long Oh, I 
behind him. I grabbed the grab one of the flywheels and pull it towards me as if it's engaging. And because it's not engaging, the spring has lots of room. I thought it was uh, hooked from underneath, but it was hooked from above. So. And got that off, disconnected. That's all the bugger to get this out. jack the tractor up a bit it helps so these aren't connecting hitting the frame and stuff so if you could pull the uh, jack the tractor up it's a lot easier I will pause this and show you cleaning the uh, deck up just one little uh, hint after you take the deck off, you'll have your engagement cable just hanging there. Uh, I always put it, put my uh, my snowblower stuff on right away so I can hook it back up. But if you need to move your tractor, make sure you get that cable out of the way. As you can see, it's hooked on to my uh, gear thing. I gotta take that other uh, thing off the other side first and back the tractor into the shed and get the uh, camera set up for pressure washing. So, see you in a bit. Okay, we're first gonna do a little pressure washing on the tractor. real muddy spot back uh, on one of the trails I got stuck pressure coming down the hose isn't as good as the uh, the pump
This isn't working out very good. First time using this uh, water pump. chunk of mud splattered on my glasses I just basically wanted to clean the mud off the tire so I can get the chains on and get leaves and stuff it wasn't too extensive but it's starting to ice pellet again so I will move you in here and set up a little stand so that I can Show you clean the deck off. Not the greatest picture, but uh, as far as the hose will reach.
don't want to put the high pressure water onto the bearings so much so I kind of avoided them but as you can tell the deck's been uh, the rust spots have been fixed up and sprayed with multiple different colors not how pretty it works or looks it's how long it lasts need a new deck I think you pretty much need a new tractor and uh, I'm not about to pay four thousand dollars for a new one anyway I'll flip her around and uh, get the bottom it actually looks pretty good the leaves uh, do a good job of uh, cleaning the surfaces but we'll show you the underside's not too bad I didn't uh, use the deck wash yesterday.
Probably can't even see what I'm doing. Now that we got the summer stuff all cleaned up, time to get the winter stuff on. In a minute. Just not enough room in here to do stuff properly. I need, really need a garage so I can get this stuff all done indoors. Hurricane Fiona blew my storage shed right off its foundation and crinkled it all up. So I just store things in here. But once it starts snowing, I can't get the snow blower over the grass with that tractor so I have to store it in here until I need it after I plow the first couple storms but uh, the only way to fit it in here is to drive it in and put it in the corner so that I can back the tractor in with the plow on it and actually make it fit but then I don't have room for my brush cutter which I don't want to put in the metal shed because it leaks and it's not uh, very watertight like this one is so yeah it's a game of finding room might actually bring the brush cutter downstairs in the basement. But I still want to use it if I can to do the railroad stuff. 
a little bit more. But uh, we'll get back to the uh, mounting the winter stuff. I just grabbed the snowblower to figure out where to put it. Well, I know where I'm putting it. Just put it there while I get the plow and the snowblower transition piece mounted. And of course, driving around the cable has fallen off where I put it and I ran over it and stretched the cable so it will no longer engage the mower deck or the snowblower so I have to buy another one but quickly to show you how this works this is what I was talking about. That uh, belt goes to your engine pulley, which would be the same as your mower deck. It gets transitioned to this smaller wheel, which would spin the blower quicker, I'm guessing. And uh, this goes through a through a mount you put on your snowblower, and these two things go on the uh, arm mount for your deck. And then you put your engage your cable engage right here. And when you pull it back, it tightens this belt to engage the deck. Or I should say the uh, snowblower. It uh, goes on pretty simply. It, uh, when it's not mounted, you really need a mounting cable though. So that's why I'm not going to bother mounting it until I get a new cable. And now all I gotta do is put the shoes back on the plow because I took them off to get a better scrape of the gravel. But uh, in the winter time, I don't want to scrape the gravel. So time to put the shoes back on. It's pretty simple. Two bolts on each shoe and away you go. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. I know I can't wait to get a garage and do all this stuff indoors and have it all readily available. It took me an hour just to get everything ready. It's crazy. You gotta move everything from down the basement to outside, from the garage to the outside. It's just a pain in the you know what. Anyway, I get some flurry action there. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty cold out. I was in shorts two weeks ago, so I'm not uh, liking this cold very much. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.